There are plenty of fantasy games out there that allow you to take on the role of a brave warrior or perhaps a cunning wizard, but how many let you be a crafty Jew? Jew, huh? So I guess we'll never really be friends. In today's humble opinion, we're going down to South Park and to have ourselves a time in South Park, the stick of truth. South Park The Stick of Truth is a comically charged role-playing adventure game crafted by Obsidian Entertainment and South Park Digital Studios LLC, and brought to us by Ubisoft. I don't want to beat around the bush too much so I'll just say it. I love South Park. I've been a fan ever since Cartman got an anal probe and have been following on and off through today. I bring this up because I imagine that most people watching this video enjoy the television series and want to see how this game stacks up, and the answer is extremely well. The game looks, feels, and sounds exactly like your run-of-the-mill South Park episode from its ludicrous plots. No hall pass? Then it's time to write you a referral. To the clever social commentary steeped in irony and disguised with fart jokes. Will you go out and be a kid for Christ's sake? It stays true to its source material and refuses to pull its punches regardless of how politically incorrect it may be perceived. Is that Spanish? It even manages to dig deep throughout its history to reward longtime fans with references and inside jokes while not relying so heavily on them that it becomes an uninspired ploy to cash in on a successful intellectual property. Rest assured, however, that even new fans or people solely interested in the game itself can enjoy it too, and will hopefully learn for themselves how entertaining and insightful the series can actually be. Which is to say that despite it being a part of an already wildly successful IP, its mechanics are so satisfyingly solid as a game that it will be fun even if you've never watched it. Now that's not to imply that it will draw hardcore fans of the genre on the merits of its gameplay alone, just that the mechanics serve as the perfect vehicle for the absurdly humorous narrative and that the overall result becomes a casual role-playing game, challenging enough to feel like a game, while its tongue-in-cheek meta-humor reminds us that we're not supposed to be taking it too seriously. Is that part of your game, breaking shit? You are the new kid in South Park who falls into the fairly common archetype of a silent protagonist, a trait which everyone, including your parents, considers pretentiously cool and passes off as passive aggression. Yeah, we love you too! You're sent out by your parents to make friends and wind up getting sucked into a town-wide LARPing session among all of the other children. All the while, the crazy daily lives of South Park influence the in-character life of your character as well as his out-of-character character. See, I told you this shit gets meta. Don't talk to her, she's not part of the game. A large portion of the game takes place in the combat screen, which uses the rules of the children's imaginary fantasy universe to present it as a turn-based RPG. However, the overworld has some elements of stealth and puzzles as well. They also manage to spice up the actual combat by adding interactive timing mechanics to enhance your damage or block incoming attacks. Really, the game has a lot that I could gush about, from the attention to detail, the smoothness of combat, the usage of main characters as allies, or the fact that you can poop into a toilet it, fish it out and throw it at your enemies. If it splashes, it means you get a free wish. It's also pretty great that most enemies are neither aware of nor playing your game, they're just kind of actively trying to kill you. These days you'll find the game on Steam for $29.99, but with all of its humor and polish, it's easily worth the $60 of a new launch. Sometimes it will go on sale for $7.49 or lower, at which point I cannot recommend this game enough. The gameplay is exceptional. Everything from the well-designed combat wheel to the clever usage of items. Whether you're exploring the town, taking out enemies through the environment, or just beating up the homeless, you're going to have fun doing it. Ultimately, stand strong with a 10 out of 10. In terms of the bundle as a whole, its value comes in at a 10 out of 10 again. It's something we haven't seen the Humble Monthly deliver before. With many of their previous titles making politically correct statements for the sake of doing it, it's fresh to get something that makes us laugh at and acknowledge our differences. It can be funny for once to have a boy dressed as a girl and flash his chest without it promoting some kind of agenda. South Park has always had a talent for bringing out all of life's absurdities in a highly intelligent way that often gets overlooked because of its presentation, so the fact that this game feels like the junction of an actual game with an actual episode does the quality of the bundle wonders. Overall, the game managed an average of 10 out of 10, which is overwhelmingly fantastic. South Park The Stick of Truth is an extraordinary title that I simply could not put down. For these reasons, it scores an A+. There was a maiden from Stoneberry Hollow. She didn't talk much, but boy did she follow. Oh. I have a nice lamp that she set up on. The maiden from Stoneberry who is also your mom. 